Welcome back to Cloud Punk. Um, my, my beater is barely making it. We, uh, there we go. All right, we need to hit up a, a garage ASAP, which shouldn't be too hard. They're, they're everywhere. And we gotta take this girl back to our apartment, I guess. Bring Pasha to your apartment. All right. I'm gonna stay out of the the actual highway because I feel like <laughs> that'll kill me. There's one right here. I wonder how much this is gonna cost. I get the feeling I'm like close to dead. What do you guys think? 500 bucks? Let's see. 500 bucks. Okay. Uh, well, gotta do it. That's a lot of money. All right, whoop, 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 whoop. Look how much faster we're going. This feels so much better. Whoa. All right, so we're taking her back and then what? You got more to talk about? I don't know. Needed to go in there, right? Yeah, okay. So I got a funny story to tell. Let's get out of here. Um. This is bad. Oh. So, I don't know about you guys, but I was taught square dancing in grade school. Um, I'm curious how many of you were taught that as well. At least, this is going to be an American thing. Probably not uh, any other country. It's an American thing. So, I want to know if you guys were taught square dancing. And I know there may be some regional stuff, like, I know line dancing was popular in, like, Texas and, and the South and whatnot, but I'm focusing on square dancing, because I was taught square dancing, and I grew up in in Detroit and suburban Detroit. And, um, I found out the history of square dancing in America. I read about it a little bit. And it's a lot weirder than you would think. So the reason why square dancing is taught in so many American schools is because of Henry Ford. Of course, Henry Ford, you know, invented the assembly line, Ford Motor Company. Henry Ford, he, um, he wasn't the nicest of guys, let's just put it that way. He was racist and anti-Semitic. And, and it's weird how he applied his racism because, like, his employees got equal pay. Black employees got paid the same as white employees. But he was still a racist. And this is when we're talking, like, the 20s. And he, um, he didn't like jazz. And jazz was sweeping the nation at that time. Before I, I, I go in here, I'm gonna I'm gonna tell my story. Jazz was sweeping the nation, and he didn't like jazz because he felt it made um, black people and Jewish people um, out of control. It warped their minds. It made them horny. It made them drink. It made them smoke. It it, it made them crazy, and he really hated that. Henry Ford did. So. To combat this, he, and, and he was afraid that would that would spread to white people. He thought that that this craziness would get popular enough that it would spread to white people, and then white people would start acting like black people and Jewish people. And and his mind, obviously. So what he did was he started with him and his wife were um, 
they loved square dancing. And they forced all their employees to do square dancing. They gave him classes. And he thought that he could overpower jazz with square dancing. Like, if you were to teach a black person square dancing, maybe they'll leave this jazz behind and then they won't go quote-unquote crazy. This is true story. True story. So, he didn't stop there. He didn't stop with just his employees. He went and lobbied governments, state governments, local governments. He wanted square dancing to be put in schools. He funded square dancing clubs across the country. We're not just talking like Michigan here. Across the country, he funded square dancing schools or, or um, clubs. And he got local governments to start teaching it in schools so we can prevent black people and Jewish people from getting too crazy on the jazz. And he would uh, lobby the national government to try to make square dancing like the national dance and polka the national music. And, and this is, again, the 20s and 30s. And to think that when I was in grade school, this was still a thing. I was taught square dancing. Everybody knows how to do see do, and um and and I I didn't go to a, a backwoods school either. I went to a fairly progressive school, and the fact that they still had this in their school was kind of mind-boggling to me. To learn this this history of like the racist origins of square dancing, I don't know. I was blown away when I read about that. It was weird. Um. Uh, Oh, and her apartment. So I want to know, did, were you guys taught square dancing in school, in grade school? I don't remember what, what year it was, or how old I was when that happened. So, I don't really have much food right now. It was now. elementary school. I'm not hungry. Is this your whole house? Yes, it's plenty big for me and Camus. How long can I stay here? I'll get some food when my shift finishes. In the meantime, there's some fruit and mochi in the fridge. The fridge? The thing that keeps the food cold? Oh yeah, I knew that. Just make yourself at home, but don't touch anything. You can watch the hollow vids or whatever. When do I have to leave? Look, you... you don't have to leave. I won't send you away until there's somewhere you want to go. I don't want to go anywhere. Nowhere is home anymore. Then this is the best nowhere you have right now. I won't be long. Don't worry about me. I'll be fine. Okay, then. I'll see you soon, Pashta. Rania, I... I know Huxley saved us. Good. He said we need to stick together, so we will. I'll see you when the sun comes up. Bye, Rania. That character's a lot shorter than I thought she was. Um, alright. So, there's that plant I got earlier, by the way. Uh, what, what other upgrades can I get? A pizza subscription! Get a random pizza daily- Oh, control's coming in. Driver 14 FC, come in. Yes, sir. I'm here. New job available. Hell yeah. Okay, I'm ready. New job available. Uh, you already said that. Are you okay? I'm really not in the mood. Control, can you just talk normally, please? It's been a long night. Oh, boy. New nav point generated. Your voice sounds weird. I've had enough bad surprises for one night. What's going on? It's a trap! Please proceed to the nav point. No, everything is normal. Well, that's reassuring. Okay, I'm on my way. Rania out. Is Mr. Control okay? No, he's not. I don't think so, Chemis. Let's go to the nav point. We have no other choice. Okay. I want to see what other upgrades we got here. We got pizza subscription. I can't decide if I'm beginning to like this ugly old hubba or not. Okay, a little model. A fridge. Old pizza ice cream. Okay. A lamp, desk chair, fish tank, a mirror. Holographic object, retro game console, bonsai. Second bed. Uh, these things are are rather expensive. A framed photo. It, this is. This is way too small for this. Is this is? Okay. Uh, I want a I want a bonsai. I love this. Where did it go? Also, I probably should get a second bed, right? Wait, where is the bonsai? Is it outside? You gotta keep bonsais outside. There it is. Okay. 
Yeah, Banzai's like 99% of them need like lots of sunlight. Uh, a bed makes sense, but a bed is also like outrageously expensive, right? And I got 1500. All right, 500 bucks down the drain. There we go. All right. Now it won't be as awkward. Although we are pretty close to each other. Anything else I need in here? A lamp? No. Fish tank? Fish tank sounds kind of fun. That's expensive though. I only got $1000. All right, I'm I'm You have fun with that bed. All right, let's get out of here. We got to go to the nav point. Maybe. Possibly. I mean, I have a... You know Oh, that just reminds me. Maybe this would be... Because I know this is a trap, right? Maybe this would be an ideal time to eat that... Or eat, take the pheromones. Chemical substance triggering a social response in your favor. Your eyes better. Oh, I didn't mean to take it now! I'm so stupid. Alright. God bless America. Well, I don't know how long that's going to last. What am I doing in there? Get out of there! What is that noise? That's a weird noise. I'm not sure I've heard that noise before. It was like a rumble in the wind. All right, following the nav point. Probably right down in here, yeah. To a beacon it looks like the one we we used to talk to Cora yes there's nothing else here we are getting a message from control again text only it says to fly close to the ruined transmitter beacon oh. all right let's go also uh, the dev has added a first-person view to the game it's only in the beta branch right now I'm a little worried about jumping to the beta branch and messing up my save in a way I don't know um, fly close? I'm pretty close. I am Cora. I am not as I once was. Oh! You again. Did you pretend to be control? I am patches on upgrades, systems on systems, mechanical, computer, and human. Mm -hmm. And yet, you can't just answer my question. I took on the guise of another to bring you here. You stole his voice. He has no voice. He is a shell. Don't say that about him. Deep down, you know how empty he is. I felt the pain of your android passing. He was lost. Then he found me. You're mad. I have no time for this. Huxley says he wishes you well. Screw you. I'm leaving. Stop calling on me. I would have your answer to my question before you leave. What answer? I am bifurcated light. Consciousness through a prism. I must know what the future holds for this place and for those who follow me. You're a mad old AI with no purpose. This may be true. I still must know. You came to this city from outside. You understand here and also there. You know the city and the not city. If you say so. So answer my question and think carefully on your answer, as it will have repercussions. Is Navalis a city overcome by monsters? Pretty what? much. I repeat, is Navalis a city overcome by monsters? Overcome with monsters? No, Cora. Navalis is the monster. Okay, that's true, too. I can't signal anymore. Good. We're done with crazy people. Cora said, did you say the wrong thing? I don't care anymore, Camus. Let's get out of here. 
All right, so she said she's bifurcated light and that she's a prism. And I don't know about you guys, but I thought bifurcated meant split in two. And then she describes herself as a prism, which is definitely split in more than two. I, I think Cora is a little confused. Um, all right, where am I going? Oh, here's Control. Hello, Control. What is that? Kid, you there? Are you the real Control or the annoying fake one? What do you mean? Nothing. What you got for me? I need to ask you to take a passenger again. So, you're the annoying real Control. You know, we're not a taxi service, right? I, I know, I know. But this one will be worth it. Very rich client. Needs to get somewhere without the paparazzi getting a sniff. Someone famous? I think so. But even I don't know who it is. Sending an half point. Uh, one more thing, Rania. Yeah? If it's a cute pop star, get me an autograph. Don't push your luck. Wow, I, I never pegged him for... Oh, what's up here? Is that just an ad? It is. I can't go higher than this. Damn it. I'm backing up because I want to see what it is. I can't see what it is. I can't move the kid. Oh, wait. Camera move this way. No, this way. There we go. Why is it not moving? Oh, some resort. Okay, whatever. Pick up a passenger in Avalon Heights. It's some cute pop star. Oh, oh, oh. I don't know if I want to go this way. Okay. Oh, I have not been here before. Okay. So we got lots of stuff to do. Uh, first thing we need is parking, which is this way. I can barely reach over that. Okay, there we go. What? Pilot, I have a handicap placard. What are you talking about? I gotta park my way over here. Whatever. Metro Hub Minor Two. Also, I don't know what that pheromones did for me, if anything. Here's what crispy meat soup. No, nope. hey. I look forward to. No, I don't care. All right, we're on the prowl for goodies. See, I I think um a first person camera would be so cool for screenshots and thumbs and whatnot. So what I'll probably do is I'll, I'll finish the game. Then hop over into the beta branch and then like retake thumbs and change all my thumbs after the fact. Here's what I can offer you today. Aren't you the same guy I just talked to? Energy drink, candy bar, and water. Thanks. I look forward to. You know, you know what? I could probably sell so much of my stuff. Right? Here's. Not my flute. Oh, I can sell my dress. Wait a minute. Did I pay that much for my dress? Like, these coolants? I, I seriously doubt I need these. I, I don't know why part of me just feels like there's like a crafting thing that I'll eventually get to. Probably not at this stage in the game. Trading card. Oh, come to think of it, I don't, I don't have too many things. It's like these these things right here and the book I get or the memory chip. Well, I could sell the books too. Ruined book. I mean, I don't need nine of them, right? Yeah, let's just keep two. Look at that. I'm rich again. I feel much better about myself. Thanks. I look forward to seeing you. Uh
Oh, the camera. Another punch card. We're halfway there. See, I can't wait to get a first-person camera. So much cool stuff in this game to, to screenshot. Also, there is one back here. Was that always in the game and I just didn't notice it until now? Or is it just getting windier? Um, let's go in here. Oh, I don't remember my codes. There's several things in there. Oh, it's behind Corpse Sec. Okay. I can't get in there. Also, I'm not exactly where I need to be. That's okay. I have collectibles to get. Upgrade your neural onset to the Macula Bio score today and get 20% faster reaction time and up to 30% funnier improv comedy. What's up with this building? Like all glass. We've seen one of those before, haven't we? I have no idea where I'm at right now. Oh my god. I love that. The police event. Is that a person? No. What? Do I gotta go around? That's weird. Um. Yeah, I just love that there's sometimes a police chase, like off the path, like not on the roads. Just flying by over your head. It's really neat. I think the camera flips around a little too much for my taste. Alright. Oh my god, there's so many things all over the place. This place is large. It's a very wide open area. Oh my god. Hope this passenger wasn't in a hurry. Alright, where am I at right now? Uh, good gravy. What are these out in the middle of nowhere? I wonder. Oh. What was reported in the sector? I didn't hear him. There's a whole area over there, too. Jesus. Oh, damn it. I gotta go around. There's one over here somewhere. Wait, is there not a way to get in there? I have to go all the way over here. Oh, my God. our passenger. Actually, I can get to her from here, right? It looks like. Hello! I hear you need a ride. Um, hi. My name is Rania. 
I'm a delivery driver. I don't normally take passengers. Oh, well, I mean, nice talking to you, I, I guess. Where are we going, Control? I can't believe it is really Dolly. Can I ask you a question? You may. Your new song is so good, but on your second album, on Dream Bop Candy Droid, were you singing about your first breakup? Oh, for crying out loud. No, Camus. I was singing about the pressures of my Dream Bop world. Sometimes it is very lonely. I am sure it must be tough to be so rich that you can't tell if the people being nice to you really even like you. That is... This was not a very nice thing to say. I'm sure she can go home and cry herself to sleep on her big pile of money. Damn, Ronnie. There is more to life than material success, says the rich pop star. Give me a break. Can I ask an additional question? You may. On your third album, on the song Second Skin, you sang, Metal skin, scales or rubber. I'm your dream girl. Chemis, lover. You're embarrassing Does me. The second skin mean their clothes? Yes, but it also means I believe love exists for all beings. This makes me happy. Dolly's new album, Dolly in the Symbiosis Dream, coming to stores in March. Pre-order for the bonus special edition. Please let this be over soon. You are moody today. <laughs> oh shit, Camus. You remember who we just lost? I remember Huxley. Don't say I forgot him, because I didn't forget. All right, don't get upset. I'm sorry. I also feel lost sometimes. Wait. Or I want to get lost. No one knows me. They just love Dolly. You are Dolly. I am Dolly. I am the real Dolly, the first. Wait, what does that mean? I am not permitted to explain this any further. Tell me where I need to I go. I forgot to say, please just drive to the west for now. You act like an automata, right? Like that's the act? You speak and act like an AI girl, but you're a real grown woman. I am what the audience needs me to be. They recreated me. They copied you? Made an AI that looks like you? I am not supposed to say. So they fucked you too, huh? The corpse, the media, Nivalis. I was replaced. I was... She was replaced. She was Dolly something before. Before Dolly was taken by the audience. Oof. And when the audience bought shares in my persona, someone needed to manage the IP. That's when they took control of me, piece by piece. My name, my face, my songs, my dances, my personality, the way I talk, the words I say. I came home one day to find my apartment locked. My key card did not work. I tried to get a cab and found my credit was declined. I called on my mother and the number was blocked. The whole time, a billboard with my face looked down on me, mocking me. I called Corpsec and they said I could be arrested if I told anyone I was the real Dolly. Who is the new Dolly? They said it was going to be an automata. It would take some of the workload off me so I could have a holiday. They said it would have my memories and experiences and knowledge. They'd been mapping my consciousness with the neural implant they gave me. That's so awful. They lied. They replaced me with another girl, another human. She barely even looks like me. But people will know. No, they don't notice. They've been using her likeness for a year now. So what do you want to do now? Where do we go? I need to make a decision. My future is over. They are looking for an excuse to imprison me forever. If I break my contract, mention who I really am, I'll be put away forever. Well, you're too late I'm for that, to right? Them. Gate crash the live interview, which is happening in 15 minutes. Unless you have any other ideas. Start again. New name, new career. Um, yeah, yeah, too late for that. You're just blabbering it to people you don't even know. Move on. It'll be hard, but... There is nowhere I could go. I am forbidden to work. To have money. Leave the city. Why stay in Nivalis? Head out to the Eastern Peninsula, my old home. I would not survive there. You might. You'd have a better chance than here. I... 
I do not know. I can't decide. Do what you think is best. Take me wherever you please. All right, I'll just I'll just decide your important life decisions for you, I guess. Drive Dolly to the TV station or drive Dolly to the train station. Also, is this it here? All right, this is the TV station. Um, I don't know. I feel like I don't really have a whole lot to go on here. Um, I kind of want to see the drama this would cause. Let's do this. So you're really going in? I have to. I could turn around. We could still take you to the vents. No. Running away was never a real option. You did the right thing bringing me here. I have to face him. Dynamite Simpson? What will you say to him? I doubt I'll get a chance to say anything. I just want him to see me and her at the same time. To confront what he did to me. I need to show him that I can be killed, but never erased. My existence is mine. Are you mad at her too? The replacement? No, not at all. She is just doing what she needs to do to survive. I hope he feels guilty when he sees you. I hope he has regret. You tell him, Camus. Do you want me to come in with you? Maybe we can try to sneak past reception. I could say I had a delivery. Try to bluff my way past the guards. No, I have to do this alone. Well, good luck, Dolly. Maybe they will take you back. Maybe you will release the fifth album. No, Camus. That music isn't me anymore. It was never really me. It is sad that no one will hear you sing again. This won't stop me singing. Whether it's for one person or for one billion, it doesn't matter. Deep down, Ronian knows that too. They can take almost everything away from you, but if you don't surrender it to them, they can't take away your music. It sounds like a Shawshank Redemption, uh... Uh oh. Oh, 400 bucks for that. Oh, nice. That was a lot of money. Sub control. Hey, kid. You still surviving out there? Just about control. Do you ever worry they'll replace all of us with automata? Not for a second. Or worse, just replace us with other people who aren't broken yet? Everyone and everything in this city is broken. Two more hava crashes in the last hour. And they say the uh, food dispensers in Diver Row are only serving up shrimp chocolate bars. But hey, it keeps you on your toes, right? Ugh. You're doing okay out there? Yeah, I'm fine. You know, I was thinking about your flute playing. Did you ever... I don't want to talk about that. Oh. All right, kid. All right. I got a job for you. It's not great. Just tell me where to go, Control. You remember the contract for a client called Gil? I don't. Yeah. You know, at the time, I thought that was the worst job I'd ever do. Nothing like a night with Cloudpunk to shift your perspective on what a bad night can be, right? Well, there's a family member of Gills that wants to ask you some questions. They even paid the call-out fee, so as far as the company's concerned, you gotta go. Ah, <sighs> remember when we used to deliver things? That's the spirit. If you're giving me attitude at this point, you're all right. Look, you don't have to say anything special, but you don't have to take any crap either. Just go and listen, answer their questions, and then get out of there nice and easy. On my way, Control. Okay, well before I do that, I want to see what the shop owner has over here. And then we gotta go listen to someone bitch. Hello. Here's what I can offer. End magazine, internet... Thanks. I look forward to seeing crap. Okay. Um episode's a little long right now. I think I'm gonna call it here. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye bye.